welcome to your experiences in the series of knowledge sutra we have arrived at our first step towards spirituality spirituality is not a hobby it is not something that you do besides your work a play it is not a weekend activity for most of the seekers spirituality is their life goal the journey on the spiritual path starts with your life goal if there is no goal there is no journey not only a spiritual life demands a life goal an ordinary life a worldly life is also meaningless without a life goal unfortunately a majority of people have no goals in their lives they are simply living copying each other and the belief is that the human life is about survival but the reality is human life is above survival and so most of the people without a life goal lead a meaningless purposeless life and never achieve their full potential having a life goal a very high life goal is necessary for a spiritual seeker and is also recommended for an ordinary person what is a life goal it is that for which you were born that is the most important thing to do in your life it is the greatest achievement of any human life that is the life goal and the activities such as survival etc are something which we do to support this life goal survival here means eating defending and reproducing that is done by animals also so what separates us from lower life forms is a life goal sometimes we say that we are destined to do this that which is our life goal and we call it our pre allocation which means it is already decided that i'll do this one specific thing but as i said that cannot be true for all of us most of us have not decided our life goals let alone being born with it for most of us almost nothing is pre allocated or pre decided and so the life is wasted in unnecessary activities or merely survival some people do more of the survival they want to eat more or they want to eat more things or they want to eat more expensive things and so on for the rest of the two tendencies also and that is some kind of mental distortion in a human mind it was never told to them that you are a human survival is secondary your life goal is primary so a spiritual life begins with a proper life goal you can very well assume that that is your pre allocation because nothing else is meaningful besides your life goal how to find it and before we reveal the ways to find your life goal the ways to arrive at your life goal i want to tell you that the life goal is not written in stone it can be very very certain but it can change with time with age with circumstances and sometimes there can be three or four life goals sometimes five or six major goals but it is very rare to find somebody having 20 30 or 100 goals that is as good as being directionless so the minimum possible number is one and to keep it meaningful you should keep your life goals at most limited to two or three and remember they change and the last one which did not change no matter what the situations were that will be your most important life goal that can be called your pre allocation one way to arrive at your life goal is through self reflection this is a process of finding the goal of my life this is a process of knowing my purpose trying to know the meaning of my life and some people will ask why don't you tell me the purpose or why can't i simply ask somebody who knows more than me what is my purpose or probably i'll read it in some book i'll search it on the internet and i'll find the goal and purpose and meaning of my life and yes this is just immaturity childish reaction because just like you are unique your life goal is unique and it is your life goal that makes you unique if everybody had the same life goal or let us say a set of goals that everybody must do then there won't be any uniqueness 
and you can look around yourself everybody is doing their own thing as soon as you tell somebody that stop everything you need to do that which i am telling you this is your life goal nobody likes it nobody can live for a goal which is imposed on them yes it is possible that you will not know your life goal initially it is not bad what is worse is doing something which is told to you by somebody else that will be a very very unsatisfactory life that you are doing that which somebody else thinks is your goal and that is why self reflection everybody needs to find their own life goal they cannot be told what to do otherwise there is no difference between a human and a slave or an animal or a machine because it is like simply programming a machine to do something you must be alive aware and intelligent to decide upon your own life goal why don't they tell these things in your schools colleges universities if you think for 5 minutes you will see that this is probably the most important question of your life what is your life goal why were you born what is your purpose but it is never told to you now it may sound like a conspiracy but it is simply the ignorance that is widespread in the society that is the cause people don't know their life goals they don't have any clue to teach it to anybody parents don't know it so their children don't know it teachers don't know it so the students don't know it only when you reach this corner of the world which is called spirituality now you will find people who make some sense who are reasonable who have superhuman intelligence and a spiritual person has a well defined life goal it cannot be given to you you cannot be ordered to do something yes if you do not know your life goal some guides may guide you to cultivate your own goal to find your own path to search for your own destiny pre allocation that can be done but it is your job just like everything else in spirituality this is also your job to find your life goal and one of the process that is recommended is self reflection the reflection here simply means meditating contemplating introspecting thinking about it arriving at through self reflection the meaning of your life is not outside it is within you go within search for your purpose so how to do the self reflection you must ask the most fundamental questions i am going to give you some examples of these questions and just like you need to find your own purpose or life goal you need to find your own questions also i cannot even tell you what questions to ask that will cut down your freedom if the questions are fixed but they must be very fundamental you will get some answers through these questions write down these answers and these questions must be about yourself and only yourself they should not be about your family or your friends or your country or your city or the world remember you are trying to find your own purpose do not get distracted by these things remember the society never teaches you about yourself it is always about something else so initially you will get distracted i need to marry this person but no it is not about somebody else i need to do this kind of job but no it is not about the job you do for somebody else i need to serve my country no it is not about anything that you have it is about you it is not about a place where you live so do not get distracted while contemplating always come back to yourself there is another danger that you will get too much inspired by somebody else my father did this he was a great man or he is a great man i need to do the same it is possible sometimes goals match between two individuals but that is not the rule you need not do exactly that which your father did or your mother did or your brother is doing or your friends are doing or somebody who lives nearby your neighbors whatever whatever they are doing do not copy others but keep in mind that sometimes there will be similar goals the goals you get should not be very small what am i going to do next week which country i am going to visit probably that is my life goal no these are petty things do not decide something mundane do not call it your life goal it has to be something great something big for which you are born keep this in your mind is it too easy is it too small is it something lowly which everybody does then it is not probably your life goal 
and probably it is not even spiritual so initially there will be these distractions there will be pettiness there will be some general thoughts in your mind while you do the self reflection but as you go deeper within you you will start getting the real answers so you should give it some time give it few weeks or few months at least that is why i am recommending writing down these questions and writing down these answers because you may not get answers in few minutes sometimes it will take many days yes if you are really brilliant you will already know what is your life goal there are such people rarely you will find somebody who knows what to do in the in their lives since their childhood they are born with a life goal and we say they are born with a clear preallocation these are technical words sometimes other people can find out their life goals they can see the signs in the behavior in the speech and thinking of that person that child and yes sometimes you will need to take somebody's help i am not totally against it but do not get influenced by the other person and the best person to take the help from is your own guide but obviously many of you will not have any guide at the stage so a very good life goal is to find a very good guide anyhow that cannot be your only life goal but that will be very intelligent thing to do so what questions should i ask to find out my life goals how to do the self reflection i am going to give you some example questions but they are not exhaustive they are simply examples sometimes you will need to ask deeper questions so you can pause the video look at these questions pick and choose whatever you think are most important and contemplate see what feels most important to you see what you like most see what is absolutely necessary to do in your life they will become your life goals and obviously like the questions some of the questions show you should be clear about what you should not do you should be very clear about what is the most unnecessary time wasting activities that i should avoid that includes people obviously you can iterate over this process do it 2 3 4 times keep doing it whenever you get it out you can do the self reflection reestimate your life goals recalibrate yourself you can do it any time there is no rule that once you found a life goal you cannot do the self reflection again you cannot change it no there is no such rule you can change it any time but if you are changing it every day every month then probably you are not reaching up to your life goals they are still beyond your reach so mostly the life goals do not change so quickly ideally they last for your whole life so try to find out something like that and this process is applicable for worldly people and spiritual people also equally so what will be the result of self reflection most probably you will find a goal for which you are alive for which you are living a human life you will find your direction how to achieve it where to go how to get your life goal that is the direction and you will find a meaning and a purpose it will no longer be like hitting in the dark it will not feel like you are driving in the night in pitch darkness with your headlights off it will be bright and clear that means you have found your life goal if there are doubts if it is muddy if it is not clear if it is confusing not your life goal so what can you find there can be many possibilities here the first question that will appear for many of you is that oh no my goal seems to be very worldly i want a lot of money i want a lot of relationships i want a lot of stuff shiny things just like rich people have or i am already rich but i want more of it what if your goal is worldly it is no problem at all that simply means that your desires are not spiritual at this time it does not mean that you don't have a life you don't have a life goal you don't have a meaning and purpose it simply means that it is worldly and at that point this whole series is useless for you because this series is meant for those who have a spiritual goal so what if you have a spiritual goal which is not concerned about survival or more survival or even more survival then you're most welcome this series is for you the rest of the episodes of knowledge sutra is for you it is important to find a life goal it does not matter if it is worldly you can live a happy life even if it is worldly 
what to do if you don't find a clear goal if there are too many things if your paper on which you're writing is now full of desires it is a reflection of your own mind you have not decided about your life goal you have not focused on really important things in your life either you're very young or you need to do more introspection if nothing is clear if you're cluttered with so many goals you need to cut down the unnecessary ones see what remains after you filter out the unimportant things in, from your list of goals fortunately we have a web application which is called pre allocation which helps you to arrive at your life goal you will find the link in the description of the video this question what is my life goal comes up so much that i decided to make an app of it it will help you but ultimately self reflection will be needed it is like a guide which is a machine for those who don't have a human guide some people will ask i am trying to find my life goal since uh, many years now but i don't know what is my life goal so how much time will it take it will depend on uh, the person there is no rule that it, you will get your life goal in so many days so many weeks so many years so it will take as long as it takes go slowly there is no hurry do it two three times come up with new questions consult other seekers without copying them remember the goals can change so if you cannot decide on something simply pick something which you like most which you find the most meaningful at this time and you will come to know by walking towards that goal whether it was my goal or not whether it was my real goal or not because if it is the actual goal then the result should be positive otherwise it is mostly frustrating failure meaninglessness so that is one test of knowing whether the goals that i found are real or not but um, why is it necessary can i live my life simply without any life goals or without doing any kind of self reflection yes obviously you can like many of people are already doing this kind of introspection reflection is very rare just like i said it's not taught in our societies in schools and they are living a good enough life although not the optimum life it cannot be called a human life but they are alive so if you have a path if you have a goal only then your life will be meaningful only then the purpose of your human birth will be fulfilled without a goal you won't be able to progress forward so it is necessary for growing up here the growing up means spiritual growth spiritual progress as soon as you find your goal you will see that everything that you do is meaningful every decision that you take has a wisdom in it others are also going to see a change in you that you will become wiser you will appear more intelligent because you know what to do remember 99.99% of people don't know what to do your worldly life will become a piece of cake for you because you know others don't you will become very strong this will end the fickleness or the flimsiness of which you find ordinary people they can't decide on anything they can't do a single job properly they are mostly failures they don't progress they end up copying each other like sheep herd mentality and they are usually unhappy frustrated and petty finding your life goal will end these conditions completely you will be strong that means you will have complete determination about what to do in your life and how to do it now you can hope to achieve something great if you do everything while keeping your goal in your sight your awareness will grow it will show up in your eyes in your behavior in your speech suddenly your knowledge will start growing because your intellect is not wasted in useless things you are focused you learn only that which is useful for you instead of being scattered being a jack of all you will become a master your knowledge will increase if you know what to do in your life nobody else will be able to rule you nobody else will be able to tell you what to do what happens is ordinary people end up obeying others or their leaders or their parents or anybody who can influence them anybody who can leave a mark on their mind can rule them they don't have their own lives this is called indoctrination 
from the childhood you are told what to do how to be how to live but nobody asks you what do you want to do so you will be able to avoid the greatest evil in human society which is indoctrination you will know for the first time in your life what to do and it will be your own decision remember nobody else can tell you your preallocation or your life goal you will be able to avoid all the social influences which are mostly negative which are mostly cause of failure if you are not influenced easily by others you will be able to avoid the fake gurus who are pushing their own agendas in your mind day and night your leaders the governments anybody who wants to rule people who wants to use people who wants to exploit people you will become immune to these people you will clearly know what to do how to do wh- when to do who is my guide is everybody who is telling you to do this and that your guide cannot be so you will be able to get rid of imposters walking on a path which is prescribed by others is nothing more than mental slavery just like i said most of the people are doing only that knowing your life goal will end your mental slavery you will be separated from the herd you will be able to think clearly you will be able to see everything from the perspective of your higher goals if they are spiritual the clarity will be immense if you pursue your own life goals you will achieve freedom you will get true happiness you will get complete satisfaction because you are doing that for which you are born nothing else can make you happy pleasing others serving others following others is not freedom does not lead to happiness many people do that sometimes they realize on their deathbed that they wasted their lives but now it is too late what is the use of the life goal if it appears at the time of your death the time is now do not wait for it find out your life goal once you find the goal you will need to find a path and you will need to find somebody who can guide you towards that goal and that will be the topic of the next part in the series